Hey, right, what's good with y'all boys, man? Back at y'all another video. Now, before we hop into the topic, make sure you follow me on Instagram, FLEXLEQUAY. And also make sure you get access to my free guide, which is going to teach you the seven steps that you need to avoid the friend zone. And you can get access to this free guide in the description and in the pinned comments. And also at the end of this free guide, I attach my course, Dating with Finesse, which is going to completely transform your dating life. You somebody that lack confidence, you somebody that can't get laid, always get overlooked by women. You don't know what to say to women. You can't really approach women like that. Or you just lack experience and you trying to get out here and get in the field. I break down everything in depth in this course, which is called Dating with Finesse, which you can get access to in the description and in the pinned comments. Now let's hop into the video. Now in this video, we're gonna break down the things that you need to improve your communication skills with women and how to get better at talking to women. So if you haven't watched my video about how to stop being nervous around women, this ties into that. So watch that video first, then come back to this one. Experience, experience, experience. The only way that you're gonna get better at talking to women is simply by talking to more women. You have to make things as simple as possible in your life for you to understand, and then you have to move accordingly. So that means if you don't talk to girls on a daily basis, you don't approach women, you don't spark up random conversations on a casual level. If you don't do none of those things, your communication skills is trash. If you always wanna be closed up to yourself, you always wanna be quiet, you always wanna have your headphones in and you don't wanna really put yourself out there, your communication skills is gonna be trash. And more importantly, it doesn't matter how good you look, how much money you make, none of that matters if you can't hold a simple conversation with a girl that you find attractive or a girl that's giving you choosing signals for that matter. So the name of the game is meet it in the middle. Talk to women. Don't just rely on the women that's giving you choosing signals as the ones that you approach. Learn how to approach women that's not giving you choosing signals because you gonna find women attractive that you got a cold approach. And it's as simple as that. Every woman on the planet that you find attractive is not gonna be giving you some type of choosing signals. So that means you can't strictly rely on that because for one, you putting yourself at a disservice. For two, it's coping. And for three, you missing out on so many different other options that you could have access to. So you have to get more comfortable and more confident putting yourself out there. You have to stop overthinking about what should I say and should I approach her? And is she really looking at me? Does she like me? I'm not on point. And being all self-conscious and stuff and just go out there and act. Just go out there and talk to her. Just go out there and introduce yourself. Just go out there and shoot your shot. The more shots that you put up, the better your form gonna get. The more shots that you put up, the more you gonna make. The more shots you gonna put up, the better your conversation skills is gonna get. Eliminate this from your mentality. What is the perfect pickup line? Get that out of your freaking head, bro, because it doesn't exist. The perfect pickup line does not exist. What I say to a girl and what you say to a girl can be two completely different things and we're gonna get two completely different outcomes. Even if we said the same thing, we still don't get two completely different outcomes because I can say it with confidence, with charisma, with conviction, with assertiveness, with eye contact, with seduction, etc. Then you say it like somebody who's scary, who just dropped and spawned on earth today and you're going to get rejected and I'm going to get the number. So with that being said, the pickup line does not matter. If she feeling you, it's very little thing that you can say that's going to ruin your chances. If you just got the confidence, if you can hold eye contact and if you can master your tonality, bro. If you can master those things, see, it's all about mastering yourself. If you knew who you was, if you was confident in yourself, if you were sure of yourself, you wouldn't have no problem communicating with women. You would already know how to improve your communication skills because you would already be doing it. See, the main people, the only people that ask, how do you improve your communication skills? How do I approach women? Are the same dudes who don't talk to women, the same dudes who don't approach women. So the more women you talk to in different settings, at school, at the store, at a party, wherever you at, you should make it your objective to talk to women. If you out with your homeboys, y'all doing this, y'all doing that, y'all just having fun, you should make it your objective to talk to you some women. That's the only way that you're gonna get your conversation skills up. You see that girl looking at you, she doubling back looking at you, y'all locked eyes and she looked away and you still not gonna go say nothing to her. You have to have the initiative to put yourself out there. You gotta have the initiative to be like, it doesn't really matter about the outcome, I don't care. It doesn't matter if she gives me tools and signals, I don't care. If I see a girl that I wanna go say something to, I'ma go do that. Because you are the main character in your life. So the more limitations you set up for yourself, the more overthinking that you do, the less attractive you are gonna be. If you can't simply have a conversation with a girl, look her in the eyes, you're done, you're cooked. Anybody can DM a girl a pickup line. Anybody can DM a girl a compliment. Anybody can do that with no problem. The problem comes when you got to talk to her in person. The problem comes when you don't know her Instagram, so you have to shoot your shot right now. The problem comes when you don't know if you're going to even see this girl again, so you have to shoot your shot right now. 
but those things only become problems if you over amplify them and making them so serious these things are only problems if you new to this type of stuff if you don't have experience it's nothing wrong with being scared to talk to girls if you understand that that's your position in life there's nothing wrong with it you just have to understand where you stand and ask yourself what am i going to do about it because if i tell you all these blueprints i give you all these gems in this video and you still not gonna have the initiative to apply it in real life it doesn't matter so after you apply everything that i'm saying in this video the next time you see a girl that you find attractive you should know that you need to say something to her or the next time that you catch a girl giving you any type of choosing signal you should know that look i need to go with my move because that's why i tell you that experience is the best teacher i'm not telling you that your confidence is the best teacher really and truthfully in my opinion confidence is the main thing that's gonna get your foot in the door it's the main thing that's gonna want to make you talk to women but actually having the experience is what's going to improve your conversation skills the more reps that you're getting in the more shots that you're putting up because if you got the confidence you're not gonna be content just shooting one shot just shooting two shots or you're not gonna be content getting rejected and just leaving it at that if you're confident in yourself you're gonna be taking more shots if you're confident in yourself it doesn't matter where you at doesn't matter about the choosing signals you shoot shots shooters shoot is that, that that's all it is at the end of the day shooters shoot so who do you want to be you want to be a shooter or do you want to be a bench warmer you understand what i'm saying who do you want to be and at the end of the day you have to make that decision and once you make the decision you have to move accordingly if you're going to consider yourself a shooter what do you need to be doing putting up shots talking to girls it's girls that you see on a daily basis for y'all high school dudes y'all college dudes it's females that you see on a daily basis a continuous basis whether they're giving you shoes and signals or it's just a bad chick that you see you should be making it your objective to go talk to these girls talk to as many as you possibly can that way you get comfortable because the more girls you talk to the more comfortable you're gonna get being rejected because the more shots you're putting up, obviously you're not going to make all of them, but you have a better chance at making more if you're taking more shots. But that the rejection is naturally just going to kick in. So if you can understand and transfer being scared of rejection and letting rejection diminish your confidence to laughing at rejection and letting, and letting rejection push you to talking to another girl, then you're going to be in a good position. Then you're going to be in good shoes. Now you understand that you're growing, bro. Another aspect of game is having leadership knowing what you want out of the interaction between you and this girl that you find attractive. Because shooting your shot is just one thing. Another reason why y'all don't really be knowing what to say is because you be waiting on the girl to make all the moves. After you get the number, you don't know what to do next. All you wanna do is not become her text buddy. You wanna get in boyfriend mode. Because let's say you can attract a girl. Let's say you can shoot your shot at a girl. You can go up and get a girl number. Okay, then what? But a lot of y'all, you can get a girl number, but then you fumble the bag because you just blow her phone up or you just become her text buddy now. Now you signing yourself up for this friend zone position. Now you filling out that application. Now you filling out the application of a bench warmer because you're making yourself too available and you ain't really talking about nothing. See, the name of the game is make her talk about herself. Women care more about themselves than they care about you. So she should obviously want to talk about things that she likes. Ask her about her hobbies, her interests, her story. You know what I'm saying? Anything like that, just get her talking about herself. If you can get her talking about herself with these open-ended questions, then she'll become more comfortable and it'll be less tension within the conversation. Now we can just flow smoothly, bro. You got to understand how to control the dynamic. Based on what you're saying or how you're saying it, you can gravitate and dictate the dynamic of the situation. You can raise the sexual tension. You can lower the nervous tension. You can make things go the way that you want them to go based on how you're talking to a woman and what you're saying to her and also where y'all at. So if you take all these different things into account and you just make it simple, I just need to talk to more women. If you can just understand that, you will be good. Because that's what majority of you dudes with no experience do. You just overcomplicate everything. You overcomplicate approaching women. You overcomplicate what to say. You overcomplicate everything about dating when it's actually simple. And the only way that you're going to realize that you overcomplicate things is to do what you overcomplicate. You see what I'm saying? You overcomplicate what to say to her because you don't say nothing to girls at all. You overcomplicate how to approach women because you don't approach women at all. I tell y'all every single time the blueprint on how to approach a woman, walk up to her, introduce yourself, say that she caught your eyes, say that you find her attractive, say that she find you find her a little interesting and you want to get to know her better, ask for the number, give her your number, go on about your day. That's initial attraction. That's initially shooting your shot in person. That can work anywhere you at, any girl that you any girl that you find attractive, it's gonna it can work on her. You understand what I'm saying? If you can say that 
in the right manner, in the right tone, hold eye contact, you good. Then if you can understand this, you don't need to be texting a girl or on the phone with a girl every single day. See, good communication skills is you get her number, then you set something up. Not you get her number, then y'all just text, y'all just text, y'all get on the phone a little bit, y'all just text, y'all just text. Then she stopped replying a little bit, then she stopped replying a lot of it. Now y'all just strangers again. That's because you're not setting nothing up. You did not get her number because you want to text her all day. You didn't. You did not. You did not get her number because you want to sit up on the phone all day. You did not. So with that being said, once you get the number, it's like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Now I need to set something up. I don't mean that you got to immediately set something up the next day, anything like that. But you need to be having something in the works, have some type of plan. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it be something that you finna do, you was already finna do. That's what make it better. That's what make it better to invite a girl on a date or to ask a girl on a date. You could already be finna be doing something. You just so happen to invite this girl that you just bad. That's what makes it better. That's what shows experience. That's what shows abundance, confidence, charisma, etc. Because you playing your game. Now she comes into your world. Now she see how you do things. You ain't got this time to just talk to her and text her all day. Y'all can see each other. Y'all can link up. You a grown man. So at the end of the day, all that text buddy stuff, that's for somebody else. The text buddy stuff is for the dudes that's flown in DMs. Text buddy stuff is reserved for the dudes who filled out the friends on application. You are not that guy. You are not that guy. You the dude that she find irresistible. You the dude that she want to see. You the dude that she want to bounce on. So with that being said, you have to set it up in a way that makes it easy and comfortable for her to do that. She already want to do it. She already want to see you. She already want to give you her number. Just make it easy for her, bro. Just make it easy for her. You make it easy for her by running your game. You make it easy for her by just shooting your shot. You see these girls looking at you. You see these girls that you find attractive. Shoot your shot. You shoot the shot, get the number, set up a link. Stop just trying to text her and get on the phone immediately. Set up you a link. Y'all can do this, y'all can do that. You finna go here, you invite her there. She need to get ready at this time. You'll see her at this time. You finna pick her up at this time. Something. She finna pull up on you, you finna pull up on her. Y'all ain't even gotta be going nowhere. But at the bare minimum, once you get the number, you leading it up to a link. Because that is the power of escalation. That's where y'all fall off at. That's what I had to realize back in the day. Not being able to escalate is what shows the woman that you signing the, uh, you filling out the friend zone application. Because you gotta know how to escalate, bro. And that's where men mess up because you ain't got that confidence. You don't know what to say. You don't know how to escalate it. You do that by just simply setting up a link, bro. Simply setting up a link. Because like I told you, bro, these women that you find attractive or these women that you shooting your shot at, if she's giving you her number or she's giving you the time of date, for that matter, she has some type of interest in you. She finds you somewhat attractive if she's going to give you her number. So at the end of the day, if she finds you somewhat attractive, what makes you think she wouldn't want to see you in person? What makes you think she wouldn't want to go on a date with you? You know what I'm saying? Then you go on a date, the date is smooth. Then that's a, then that's the second layer of escalation. You see what I'm saying? See, y'all go on a date, the date is smooth. Then you bring her back to the crib, or you pull up on her, and it don't have to be after the, it don't have to be the same day as the date. But that's just the next step. It's all about knowing what you want and how you gonna get it. You see what I'm saying? Because she wanna give it to you. That's the mindset that you wanna have. I told y'all boys, only think about what you want to happen. Only think about what you want to receive on the back end. You see what I'm saying? So if you finna approach a girl. She want to give me her number. She feeling me, whether she looking at you or not. Think about what you want. You see what I'm saying? Y'all want the same thing. So once you shoot your shot, now you got the confidence because yeah, it's easier when you thinking she want to give me the number. It's easy to go shoot your shot when you thinking that. Then when you on a, when you asking her on a date, or when you making plans, it's easy to set it up or it's easy to initiate it because you thinking she want to do the same thing. Then when she reciprocate because you got the initiative, you got the leadership, now she following up under your program. Then when you get to that second layer of escalation, when you're trying to get them cheeks, you thinking she wanted to give me the cheeks. I approached her nice, she gave me the number, we, we went on a date or two. Now I'm finna bring her back to the crib and she actually, actually willing to come to the crib? Of course. That's how you gotta think, bro. That's how you gotta think because you running your game the way it's supposed to be ran. It's very, very, very simple and imperative, bro. It's all about just having that system. All about just having that system. Communication skills is so, so easy. If you got confidence and you got charisma, communication skills is a byproduct of that. So if you lacking communication skills, that's because you lacking results and that's because you lacking confidence. So get your results up, get in the gym, make you some more money, go get you a haircut, and then that's gonna that's gonna boost your confidence up. 
Once you start boosting your confidence up on a consistent basis, taking care of yourself, showing more initiative in your life, start putting yourself out there. The more you start putting yourself out there, the more it's like a trickle down compound effect of things just working in your favor. So if you enjoyed this video, you learned something new, or you got any other comments, questions, concerns, make sure you drop those in the comments down below. But like I said, if you enjoyed this video, you learned something new, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.